Hello, welcome. In this very, very quick tips video, I'm going to go through the two main things that I would do if I was to store a chainsaw for any length of time, maybe a matter of months. And so you'll find that I've kept this video very quick and to the point. And the two main things I'm going to show you will undoubtedly save you some time and money when you come to use the chainsaw again. Because the likelihood is it will be more reliable when you come to need it and reduce the chance of expensive repair bills. So if there's no underlying issues with the chainsaw and it's been working fine all season. Then in order for me to find it after a few months of storage in as good a order as I left it, then the first thing I would do is make sure I drained the fuel. In fact, I completely empty the tank and then I start the chainsaw and then run it until it stops. At that point, as much of the fuel as possible has been used out of the fuel pipes and the carburettor. In my opinion, doing this is of utmost importance because arguably gasoline fuel is only at its best up to six weeks old. A fuel stabilizer can be used to prevent this degradation but personally, I prefer to empty the fuel tank, the fuel pipes and the carburettor. And stale fuel is undoubtedly one of the top causes of an engine not running or starting after a long period of storage. And so the next thing I would tend to is the chain. I would want to make sure that before I stored the chainsaw, that there was minimal water droplets on the chain and that it was well lubricated. Something I really wouldn't want after a few months of storage is to pick up the chainsaw to use it and the chain is really rusty. And if the chain's rusty, the chances are that the area of the bar that contacts it is also rusty and so is the drive sprocket. And this of course isn't best practice or usage of a chainsaw at any time. So what I do to prevent this again is to run the chainsaw with plenty of bar oil in it so that it coats the chain way before it goes in for storage. I know these two things I've mentioned here may not seem like much, it may not seem like rocket science, but if you were to store the chainsaw and you did face these problems when you come to use it again and then took the chainsaw down to a dealership, a repair centre, to have the carburettor removed and cleaned and then maybe the possibility of a new chain or a chain sharpen and a clean or a service by the dealership, believe me it's much easier and better and cheaper to do what I've said to do, to drain the fuel, run the machine until the fuel pipes and carburettor are dry of fuel whilst making sure that the chain and the groove of the bar that the chain runs down and the sprocket are well lubricated and free from damp or moisture. So they're my two most important. Of course there are many things you could do with the chainsaw before it goes into storage. You could have a full service, a really deep thorough clean down and do all sorts of things. What I wanted to mention here is just two main important things. If they were the only two things I could do then they are the two things I would do. That would help ensure as much as possible that my chain or would run and operate well when I come to use it after several months of storage. But if you do want to give your chainsaw a full clean before you put it away, then I do have another step-by-step -step video on how I do this here on YouTube, so please do check that out and also get your free download by clicking in the link on that video. It's printable so you can take it in the workshop with you. And should your chainsaw not run after you've stored it for so many months or whenever, then please do check out my other video, my checklist video of the things to do if you have this problem. And again, if if you click on the link you'll get a free download which you can print off and take into the workshop with you. And so at that I want to thank you so much for watching this video and I'll be back soon. Thank you for watching.